Top 3 Essential Vitamins for Strong Bones and Healthy Joints Boost Bone Density and Joint Flexibility Are you looking for natural ways to strengthen your bones and keep your joints healthy? Well, you're in the right place. In today's video, we're diving into the top vitamins and minerals that are key to supporting your bone and joint health, so you can keep moving comfortably, no matter your age. Whether you're dealing with joint stiffness, bone density concerns, or simply want to optimize your overall health, this video will provide you with the essential nutrients that make all the difference. So grab a cup of tea, get cozy, and let's explore how you can boost your joint and bone health naturally. Number 1. Vitamin D Let's dive right into the first vitamin that can make a huge difference in the health of your bones and joints. Vitamin D. I'm sure you've heard a lot about this one before, and for good reason, because it's that important. Now think of vitamin D as the key that unlocks the door to better bone health. You see, it plays a crucial role in helping your body absorb calcium. And calcium? Well, it's the mineral that helps keep your bones strong and sturdy. So, without enough vitamin D, your body just can't absorb calcium properly. And that means your bones might not get the support they need to stay strong. It's like trying to build a house without the proper foundation. It's just not going to stand up for long. But here's the thing. A lot of us are not getting enough vitamin D. Studies show that many people are walking around with low levels of this crucial vitamin. And that's a problem. Why? Because low vitamin D levels can lead to weaker bones, and worse, it can make joints feel stiff and achy. If you've been feeling like your bones and joints are not as strong as they used to be, or if you're experiencing more joint pain, it could very well be linked to a vitamin D deficiency. So why is vitamin D so effective in strengthening bones and joints? Let me break it down for you. When you have adequate vitamin D levels, your body can absorb more calcium from the food you eat. Calcium is what keeps your bones dense and strong, and it's needed to help your muscles, ligaments, and tendons work in harmony with your bones. When your bones are strong, your joints don't have to carry the load of weak bones. They work together better, and you experience less pain, stiffness, and discomfort. But here's where things get interesting. Vitamin D doesn't just help your bones. It also helps reduce inflammation, which is huge when it comes to joint pain. If you've been dealing with achy knees, elbows, or other joints, inflammation could be one of the culprits. Vitamin D helps calm that inflammation, which means less pain and more mobility for you. It's like giving your body a little break from all the stress that's causing your joints to flare up. Another reason vitamin D is so vital for joint health is that it's involved in maintaining the health of the cartilage in your joints. Cartilage is that soft, rubbery tissue that cushions your joints and helps them move smoothly. Without enough vitamin D, your cartilage can start to break down, which leads to pain and stiffness. But with vitamin D, you're supporting your cartilage so it stays in good condition helping your joints move more easily without pain. Now, let's talk about how you can make sure you're getting enough vitamin D. First things first, sunshine is your best friend. Your skin naturally produces vitamin D when it's exposed to sunlight. It's one of the most natural ways to get this vitamin, and it doesn't take long. Just 10 to 30 minutes of sunlight exposure a few times a week can do wonders. Of course, Depending on where you live or the time of year, getting that sunlight might not always be possible. And that's where food and supplements come in. There are certain foods that can give you a boost to vitamin D. Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines are packed with vitamin D, making them a great choice if you're looking to nourish your bones and joints. You can also find vitamin D in fortified foods like milk, orange juice, and cereals. And if you're not a fan of fish or dairy, there are always supplements to consider. Vitamin D supplements are a great way to ensure you're getting the recommended amount, especially if you live in a place where sunlight is scarce. But here's the thing. 
getting the right amount of vitamin D isn't just about more vitamin D. It's about balance. You want to make sure that you're not getting too little or too much. Too little can lead to weaker bones and joints, while too much can actually cause problems with calcium levels in your blood. The key is finding that sweet spot where your body gets just what it needs. If you're unsure about how much you need, it's always a good idea to talk to your doctor and maybe get a blood test to check your levels. One of the best things about vitamin D is how it works in harmony with other nutrients. For instance, vitamin D needs magnesium to do its job properly. And magnesium is crucial for muscle and joint function, so they all sort of work together in this beautiful symphony of health. That's why focusing on a well-rounded, nutrient-rich diet is so important. When you have all these vitamins and minerals working together, you'll feel stronger, healthier, and more energized. If you've been experiencing joint pain or weakness in your bones, it's worth taking a closer look at your vitamin D levels. It's not just a vitamin, it's a game changer for your overall joint and bone health. By making sure you're getting enough vitamin D, you're giving your body the tools it needs to stay strong, pain-free, and ready to take on whatever life throws your way. And the best part? It's simple to incorporate more vitamin D into your daily routine, whether through sunshine, food, or supplements. So, if you haven't already, maybe it's time to step outside for a little sunshine, enjoy some vitamin D-rich foods, or even consider talking to your healthcare provider about supplements. Your bones and joints will thank you for it. Keep moving, keep strengthening, and take care of yourself. It's all part of the journey to a healthier, more active you. Number two, vitamin K2. Now let's move on to another superstar vitamin that plays a huge role in maintaining strong, healthy bones and joints, vitamin K2. This one isn't as commonly talked about as vitamin D, but trust me, it's just as important for your bone and joint health, if not more. So what exactly does vitamin K2 do? Well, Think of it as the traffic controller for calcium in your body. Calcium is essential for building and maintaining strong bones, but without the right guidance, calcium can end up in the wrong places. This is where vitamin K2 comes into play. It helps direct calcium to the bones and teeth where it's needed. And more importantly, it helps prevent calcium from building up in places where it shouldn't be like the soft tissues of your arteries and joints. When it comes to bone health, vitamin K2 is crucial because it activates proteins like osteocalcin, which are responsible for binding calcium to the bone matrix, effectively strengthening your bones. Without sufficient vitamin K2, your bones could become weaker and more prone to fractures. Imagine building a brick wall and not having the proper mortar to hold the bricks together. Eventually, the wall is going to crumble. That's what happens when your bones lack vitamin K2. But vitamin K2 doesn't just help your bones. It also supports joint health. You see, when calcium ends up where it shouldn't be, in your joints, for example, it can contribute to inflammation and pain. This is a common issue in people with joint pain or conditions like arthritis. But when you have adequate levels of vitamin K2, it helps prevent calcium from accumulating in the joints, reducing the risk of joint stiffness and discomfort. It's like having a protective shield for your joints, keeping them free from calcium buildup that can lead to pain. Now you might be wondering, where do I get vitamin K2 from? Great question. While vitamin K2 is found in some foods, it's not as widely available as other vitamins. So you may need to be a little more intentional about getting it into your diet. One of the best sources of vitamin K2 is fermented foods, especially a Japanese delicacy called natto. Natto is made from fermented soybeans, and it contains a highly bioavailable form of vitamin K2 called MK7. But don't worry if you're not familiar with natto or don't have it readily available in your area. 
there are other foods that can provide a good amount of vitamin K2 as well. For example, grass-fed dairy products like cheese, butter, and milk are excellent sources of vitamin K2. Additionally, egg yolks, particularly those from chickens that are raised on a pasture, are another great option. You can also find vitamin K2 in some fermented foods like sauerkraut, kefir, and kimchi. The key is to make sure you're including a variety of these foods in your diet to support your bone and joint health. If you're not a fan of these foods, or if you just want to be extra sure you're getting enough vitamin K2, supplements are always an option. Many bone health supplements combine vitamin K2 with vitamin D, as the two work together to optimize calcium absorption and bone strength. If you decide to go the supplement route, make sure you're choosing one that contains vitamin K2 in the MK7 form, as it's the most effective form your body can use. Now, you might be thinking, I'm already taking vitamin D. Is vitamin K2 really necessary? And the answer is a resounding yes. These two vitamins work together in a way that maximizes their benefits. While vitamin D helps your body absorb calcium, vitamin K2 helps guide that calcium to the bones where it's needed most. Without vitamin K2, the calcium you're absorbing might end up in the wrong places, like your arteries or your joints. So if you want to optimize your bone and joint health, it's best to focus on both vitamin D and vitamin K2. It's also important to note that vitamin K2 can help protect against conditions like osteoporosis, which is a condition where bones become fragile and prone to fractures. By ensuring you're getting enough vitamin K2, you're helping to maintain your bone density and strength, reducing the risk of osteoporosis as you age. This makes it a fantastic addition to any bone health regimen, especially if you're in your 40s or beyond. In addition to supporting bones and joints, vitamin K2 also plays a role in cardiovascular health. It helps prevent the buildup of calcium in the arteries, which is essential for maintaining healthy blood flow and reducing the risk of heart disease. So not only does vitamin K2 strengthen your bones and joints, but it also protects your heart. A win-win. So how can you make sure you're getting enough vitamin K2? If you're not already eating fermented foods or grass-fed dairy, it might be time to start incorporating them into your meals. Whether it's enjoying a serving of natto with rice, adding some grass-fed cheese to your salad, or cooking with butter from pasture-raised cows, there are plenty of tasty options to boost your vitamin K2 intake. And if you feel like your diet just isn't cutting it, consider speaking with a healthcare provider about taking a vitamin K2 supplement. It's always best to get your vitamins from whole foods, but supplements can be a good backup to ensure your bones and joints stay strong. With regular intake of vitamin K2, you'll be doing your bones and joints a huge favor. Whether you're trying to prevent joint pain, improve bone density, or simply maintain your overall bone health, vitamin K2 is an essential nutrient that should be a part of your daily routine. So, start adding some vitamin K2-rich foods to your diet today and give your bones and joints the care they deserve. Number 3. Vitamin C Let's wrap things up with a vitamin that we're all familiar with but might not always associate with bone health, vitamin C. You probably know that vitamin C is great for boosting your immune system, but did you know it also plays a huge role in keeping your bones and joints in top shape? It's true. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant that helps protect your body from harmful free radicals, which can damage cells and contribute to aging and disease but more importantly, for your bone and joint health. Vitamin C is essential for the production of collagen, the protein that provides structure and elasticity to your bones, joints, skin, and connective tissues. Think of collagen like the glue that holds everything together. 
Without enough collagen, your bones could become brittle and fragile, and your joints could become stiff and less mobile. Collagen is also a major component of the cartilage in your joints, which acts as a cushion and allows your joints to move smoothly. Without sufficient collagen, your cartilage can start to break down, leading to joint pain and inflammation. So, if you want strong bones and healthy joints, you need to make sure you're getting enough vitamin C in your diet. Fortunately, this vitamin is abundant in many delicious fruits and vegetables, so it's relatively easy to incorporate it into your meals. Citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, and grapefruits are classic sources of vitamin C, but there are many other options as well. Bell peppers, strawberries, kiwi, and broccoli are all excellent sources of this essential vitamin. In fact, did you know that bell peppers contain more vitamin C than oranges? They're a great option for anyone looking to boost their vitamin C intake and support their bone and joint health. And if you're not a fan of fruit, don't worry. There are plenty of vegetables that can give you a good dose of vitamin C too, like kale, spinach, and Brussels sprouts. But vitamin C doesn't just help with collagen production. It also helps reduce inflammation in the body, which is key when it comes to joint health. Inflammation is a major contributor to joint pain and conditions like arthritis, and vitamin C can help fight that inflammation, providing relief and improving mobility. By supporting your body's ability to produce collagen and reduce inflammation, Vitamin C helps keep your joints moving smoothly and without pain. If you're not getting enough vitamin C from your diet, supplements are a great option. Many joint health supplements contain vitamin C alongside other ingredients like glucosamine, chondroitin, and MSM to support cartilage health and reduce inflammation. But again, it's always best to focus on getting your nutrients from whole foods as they offer a range of other beneficial compounds that work together for optimal health. So how can you make sure you're getting enough vitamin C? Start by adding more colorful fruits and vegetables to your plate. The more variety, the better. And remember, it's not just about preventing sickness. It's about supporting your bones, joints, and overall health. With a daily dose of vitamin C, you'll be doing your joints a huge favor by keeping them strong, flexible, and pain-free. Your body will thank you for it. By incorporating vitamin C-rich foods into your diet, along with vitamins D and K2, you'll have a powerful trio of nutrients working together to support your bone and joint health. Keep nourishing your body with these essential vitamins, and you'll be on your way to a stronger, more active life. Summary. In today's video, we've covered the first three vitamins that are essential for strong bones and healthy joints. Vitamin D tops the list, playing a crucial role in calcium absorption and bone strength. Without enough vitamin D, even the best calcium-rich foods won't help your bones as much as they should. Next, we explored vitamin K2, which works in harmony with vitamin D to ensure calcium is directed to your bones and teeth, preventing it from accumulating where it shouldn't, like in your joints or arteries. Finally, we dove into vitamin C, a powerful antioxidant that supports collagen production, which is the foundation for strong bones and flexible, pain-free joints. Whether it's boosting your collagen or helping with inflammation, Vitamin C is an essential nutrient for overall joint health. I hope you learned something new today about how these vitamins work together to keep your bones and joints strong and healthy. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips on how to nourish your body naturally. Drop a comment below with any questions or your own experiences with these vitamins. Thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Take care and stay healthy.